Welcome back to the ultimatehouse.com. This is a story about a table or a banquette, a really nice banquette. This project was part of a large rolling remodel. One thing to another went on for actually a couple of years. But this particular project is about this table. The owner wanted a nice special cozy place in the kitchen for informal eating. He has a big family and he had very specific ideas. So we sat around and spitballed it for a while. He liked the idea of a banquette. So I came up with a sketch for him and we discussed how this was a very long table and it would be probably pretty awkward getting in and out of it. So he came up with the idea of creating a table that opened. Well, he also did not want a lot of structure underneath because uh, obviously if it had four legs like a typical table, it would be difficult to slide in and around. So I came up with the idea of creating a steel structure that would sit underneath. So this is steel columns and steel plate. I think it's quarter or even half inch thick steel plate on top. And what you don't see are these plates that are underneath here, which bolt to the floor structure underneath. Here you can see the oak floor going in above, but it created a steel obviously allows us to create a very strong structure on top of which we can put our finish. So after the drawings were finalized and we started building our bench, installing our floor, here you can see some of the interior designers work. He's providing here a sample of the cushion, uh, samples of the oak flooring, and you can actually see we're doing the, uh, the painting of the oak floor that he specified with kind of a white and green wash in a checkerboard pattern, which was pretty cool. At any rate, after we got the samples and the owner looked at them and I looked at them and everybody weighed in, I suggested that maybe the cushion really needed to stick out a little bit farther. You can see this area here. Uh, obviously, if you're sitting on it, this would hit your legs. So I gave them a picture of the dimensions, as you can see here, and suggested it go out further. I also didn't like this back area, and I forget exactly how we ended up with this design. You can see there were heat registers here underneath the floor and they we were covering them up typically I would have put the heat registers coming underneath the bench like this but for some reason we ended up with this detail I didn't like this part here because your back leans up against a hard edge the cushion came out but in my opinion not not enough at any rate in projects with lots of people you don't always get all your decisions input. The owner wanted storage underneath. It's kind of awkward to get there, but you can see there is open storage with actually beaded siding on, on the side of the storage and nice detail on the, on the carpentry. We also clad the steel posts with wood and created the nice detail that you see here so it doesn't look like industrial steel. And you can see the oak table that we built on top with this interesting scarf joint or keyed scarf joint here, which allows the table to open and close. We used sauce hinges, that's S-O-S-S, -S. that's a concealed hinge. Because this is a big, heavy oak table, we had to use very large ones, which are unusual, but we were able to. You can see the detail here where the steel fits in and the wood fits in around it very nicely fit. Another shot of that hinge and the antique oak. You can actually see also in this detail here how we laid up the oak, rounded the edge, used several different pieces to create this, created a frame for the table. You can see that in this picture here. There's that leaf of the table which is open. Another shot of it open with the floor finished. And everybody loved it. A very unique banquette with a cool opening table. And that's it. As usual, if you have questions, give me a call. Love to help you on your project. Thanks for taking a look at theultimatehouse.com, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.